This is Omega and welcome to Money Mondays. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing how do dividends work. I'm sure we've all heard of those lovely sweet payments that companies give out to investors called dividends. In today's video, I'm going to show you where to find companies that pay dividends, where do dividends actually come from, and what are the risks you should actually know before investing and after investing. So let's get right to it. So the first thing that I want to show you guys is where to find companies that pay dividends. I've got three places they are totally free the first one is google the second one is ShareNet, um, and then the last one is trading view guys i'm not going to show you how google works i'm sure everybody knows how to run um, a search on google so i'm going to move on to number two and number three so let's look at ShareNet. ShareNet is very easy just go to www.sharenet.co.za and then search for the sa market economic uh, calendar it's a very very simple calendar that will show you some very key events that are happening um, to particular shares shares um, the first event is dividends so when are they getting paid AGM confirmed so when companies confirm their annual general meetings and then dividends LDT last day to trade so the last day for you to buy the share in order to qualify for the payment so you can just simply come here to this filter click dividends LDT so that way you can see what is the last day I can buy the shares that are paying um, on this next uh, dividend uh, paying period I can see here pretty much all of them the 17th of May which is like tomorrow that's the last day you can buy any of these um, ETFs or any of these companies in order to qualify for the dividend and then I can see the pay date by clicking dividends pay and I can see most of them are paying out on the 23rd of uh, May. Pretty cool, which is just like, I think next week. Then of course, I can also see AGM meetings. Very important for you guys to actually know when are AGM meetings happening. That way you can attend and see what's going on with your company. Hey, it's your company, you're an investor. It's very important that you actually know what's going on. And then the third place that you can find uh, where, the third place you can use to find um, companies that are paying dividends is TradingView. Just go to the stock screen and then press the dividend uh, button here and then you'll get a nice list um, and then obviously you can use different filters as well to sort of see other criteria. I've got the share price here, the dividend uh, yield and then I've got the actual random amount of payments um, coming through or the amount that they've paid and then I've got the actual amount that they've paid or paying per share and then I've got some performance uh, metrics here as well. So let's come back to the slide and then we ask ourselves where do dividends uh, come from so we're going to look at something on trading view quickly but before that i just want us to um, look at this part so where do dividends come from very very easy customers buy a product or service the company makes some money it pays its expenses and debts and then at some point there's going to be some money left over and then the company is going to decide a portion of that money should be given back to shareholders and so let's say um in, in the profit, that amount for this example is 100 million rands. And so the company says, cool, we're going to give this 100 million rands back to shareholders. The way they decide that, um, or the, rather the way that they do that, which is the easiest and most fair way, is to say, we're going to pay per share. And so in this example, the company decides to pay one rands per share. And that's where you hear that the company has declared a dividend. And so they declared that there's going to be a dividend of one rand per share, meaning per share that exists of the company, they're going to pay out one rand which is quite fair because if you own more shares and you've taken more risk then you get rewarded a lot more and if you own less shares you've taken less risk then you get rewarded in equal amounts to the risk that you have and so for this example we have a company that has 100 million shares at a price of 10 rands, meaning one rand is going to be paid to one share that is worth 10 rands. That gives us a dividend yield of 10%. Why? Because one rand is 10% of 10 rands, right? A lot of 10s in there. Cool. And so those are the shareholders. So let's see how this actually works in real life. And so here on TradingView, we've got a very nice filter that sort of shows us different metrics about companies. And of course, we can list those companies according to whatever number that we want to see whether that's the who has the highest share price um, or who has the highest dividend yield or who has paid the most amount of money all right so basically that whole amount of money so the hundred uh, million that i showed who has paid the most amount of money to shareholders you can see some companies have paid like billions and then of course the actual rand amount that the share actually earns that's a very very important um number and then of course the share price performance as well we can look at that as well because i've added that as a filter 
So you get the share price, then you've got the dividend uh, yield, then you've got the dividend paid, which is the amount of money that goes out of the company. So if the company, let's say, generates a revenue of 200, yeah, generates profits of 200 million, they decide to pay out 100 million to, to, to shareholders. This is the amount that you will see, um, which is the actual amount that is paid. And then per share, so now that one rand, this is this part here, dividends per share, the actual rand amount. If you own one share, you'll earn 43 rands. So if you own one share of BHP uh, Group Limited, you will earn 43 rands for that share. British American Tobacco, you'll earn 58 rand for that share. So that's how we, we look at that. And you can see that amount is pretty high, yet the dividend yield is 6%. Why? Because the share price at this moment is 682 rands and 58 rands is about 6% of 682 rands, 60 cents, right? So you might find that a company pays maybe let's say a lower amount than this, but has a higher dividend yield. The way that happens is because maybe the share price is actually uh, pretty low. So this is just a nice tool for you to see what's actually going on with the company. Of course, you can always click on the charts and then go view other financial information about the company. But if you're just interested in just the dividends part only, maybe it's part of your analysis, then this is one place, this one tool for you to actually um, utilize. So let's move on to the next uh, section. Uh, what are the traps? So there's something called a dividend trap. A dividend trap is very simple. It's when the dividend yield looks high, and that's because the share price is coming down. So let me just explain this uh, real quick. Um, I'll grab a share randomly. Um, let's grab, uh, say, uh, ba, 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 ba. Um, yeah, let's look at, say, st ah, that's a preferential share. Um, ba, 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 ba. We'll look at um, Sunlam. Oh, yeah, okay, cool. We got first rand there. Um, first rand share price right now is 67 rand, 81 cents. The dividend yield is 4.6%. Then the actual rand amount they're paying is 2 rand, 63 cents. And then the amount of money that they pay out to all the shareholders put together is 6.9 billion rands, which is uh, pretty, pretty cool. So now how does this actually like maybe is this a dividend trap not a dividend trap how does that actually look like what you'll find with shares is that sometimes the rand amount the actual rand amount that they pay will stay the same yet the share price will change but if you're a person who's um looking to buy the share you'll look at the dividend yield and you'll say hey this looks like a very good dividend yield maybe it's high and then you'll say okay the rand amount they're paying is also pretty good but you'll get sucked in by that percentage amount of money not realizing that two rands is four, is four percent of 67 rands and if that price was to move up this number would stay would move down yet the two rands would actually stay the same very very key thing to understand because when it happens the other way around as in the share price moves down the dividend yield percentage wise goes up because it's representing two rands to the new price and so you'll see that quite a lot with companies that pay like very high dividends so i just want to quickly find um some examples where we have some dividend traps so cool lighthouse properties um they're paying 26 cents um dividend yield is 103 percent okay that's interesting and then the last price is 809 cents which is eight rand okay so that's that's quite interesting i think let me use um another one cool yeah novus holdings um, dividend yields 24% and the amount of money that you're getting actually per share is 50 cents coming from two rands. But let's see how the share price has actually performed over the years. Okay, let me just uh, zoom out of that. And then let's zoom. Look at that. That is just hectic. All right, so this this share has performed uh, pretty, 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 pretty okay but overall pretty bad. You can see the share price has just been coming down since about 2017, the share price has been coming down. And if you're a person who gets tricked into buying this share because you're thinking, hey, 
I'm getting paid a nice 24% dividend, you could be mistaken. This share price could be on the way to about one rand um, per share or even like a couple of cents. In fact, we can see in 2021, just a year ago, it was in fact 79 cents uh, for this uh, particular share. So it most likely is a dividend trap. I wouldn't call it one, but most likely it is a dividend trap. I can actually see its performances here. Um, year to date performance, they're down 14% weekly performance they're down five percent and yearly performance or since last year may they are up seven percent um which is which is fine if you're somebody who invested last year then obviously you've made a seven seven percent gain and you'll get paid 50 cents which is a very nice um return however this could just be a dividend trap in the long term and the share price could come down so watch out for shares like that where the share price is coming down and the dividend yield look like it's going up but really in rand terms they're just still paying the same amount of money they always are um, uh, had and then one last thing share prices go down after dividends very very important anything else that you guys need to know this is the one share prices always go down after dividends are paid and here's why in our example we had a company that had um, a share price of 10 rands paying a one rand dividend which is 10 percent of 10 rands now, after they've paid this dividend, so after the date um, when the dividend is paid, the share price will go down to nine rands. Literally overnight, the share price will go down to nine rands. And why is that? It's because the company has paid out money out of its um out of its bank accounts basically right this amount here has left the company meaning the company is technically worth less of this amount you know so if, if our company had a hundred million and they just paid out a hundred million it means they no longer have that hundred million which should reflect in the share price and since that hundred million is no longer there the value of that hundred million represented in the share price is one rand per share now that amount is gone and has come to you that means the company is worth 10 percent less technically and so that's what you see with our dividends whenever they've been paid um the price comes down to the value of less what the dividend was however for you as an investor that actually doesn't matter because you now have that one rand meaning take your one rand plus the nine rand put it together you've got 10 bucks what matters to you is what happens to the share price after this one rand has been taken does it go up or does it carry on going down because if it goes down below in this example by nine rands it means the share price was going to come down anyway um and if it goes up it goes up and then obviously if you um sell your shares let's say in this example okay we've received our one rand we now have a share that's worth nine rands and it goes up by 10 percent meaning the price is now nine rand 90 cents if you sell those shares collectively it means you've then made 10 rands 90 cents which is um quite quite a good a which is, is quite good from that sort of sale. And obviously that one rand um, that you've gotten is also quite, is adding to, to, to your income there. So that's something for you guys to know. Share prices always go down after um, dividends payments. And then we can quickly see that um, on the charts here on TradingView by looking for the D sign, um, which is marked in blue. So we go to the daily charts and yeah, there it is right here. 24 Feb 2022, the company paid um, a dividend. And so you'll always see that on TradingView marked with, uh, with the D side. But yeah, that's all for today. That's all I wanted to show you guys. How do dividends work? Very basic stuff. Obviously, there's a lot more in-depth um, things for you guys to know about dividends, but that is ex as simple as I can explain it. Enjoy the rest of your week. Um, hope everybody's having a good Monday. Until then, thank you and goodbye.